Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want to jump in right away and, and let's talk a little bit about you know what is uh, an entity and a spiritual parasite and you know, how do they begin to affect our lives here in the third dimension? Or, or do they at all? Are we imagining some of this? No, en entities are real. I mean, the word entity just means thing. And so just like in the physical world we have things, we also have things that are on the higher planes. When you're in a dream state, you're on a higher plane, and there are things that are happening on that higher higher plane. I mean, the, the rules of engagement, the rules of of acting on that higher plane are different. For example, in your dream, when you're on that astral plane, time can be compressed or it can be stretched out. You can have a whole year of time going hmm. you know, that you experience in one in a few minutes or one night. But the point is, these entities are on both the physical plane as well as on the the higher planes. And when people, a lot of times, these entities are interfering with the person's ability to tap into their higher self. Uh, for one reason, it's because they like the negative psychic energy that they, the Wilhelm Reich named Louche. So that's mm. that negative psychic energy, the fear, anger, sadness that they help to cultivate because they feed off it. So if you have an entity on you, if we can get rid of that, that's going to automatically make everything better because any little problem is not going to turn into a major crisis. So yeah, they're, they're actually real and that's what I get rid of every day. That's what I spend most of my time doing with people. When we get a comment from Donna in Gainesville, Florida, who says, I've been vibrated awake by entity attachments every night as I'm falling asleep since August 2017. What is going on there? Why would uh, any kind of entity want her to awake and cause that problem? Right. Well, oftentimes these entities, it's like a war. We have a paradigm war going on. People that are in service to others, like all the great religious avatars taught us, like Jesus, Buddha, etc. You know, when you help others, love thy neighbor as thyself. When you help others, you know, it helps the whole world. Then you have a different paradigm where it's service mm. to self, and these entities are aligned with the people that are service to self. So when they're trying to figure out who to attack, They'll typically either pick someone who's extremely evil or someone who's, who's, who's very good, who has the potential to do good things and help tilt that war in the favor of every, where everyone goes to a higher uh, state of consciousness. So Donna, by calling into the show, we should pretty much identify herself. She's on the, she's on the good team. She wants to help the world. Mm -hmm. She wants to be of service to humanity. And so these entities, most likely we, we can, Check it. We can do it right here, or if you want to wait until she can call in, uh, well, we can wait for that. But she most likely has a contract with these entities. She probably did made it in a past life, and she might not have been so good at that time. She made a deal. They, they, she could have been a princess, for example, or a queen, or a priestess, and she used these entities to try to keep her people in line. And now that she's doing good work, now that she's on the on the, on the winning team. The entity is saying, "Hey, if you're not going to make your, uh, if you're not going to make other people's lives miserable, if you're not going to do evil, we're going to make your life miserable." And so they'll come and attack her mercilessly. So you, you see that from time to time. It's not that common, but it's it's common enough. Uh, and so what I would do with her, and I'll wait until she calls in. I guess I would look well, and see if she did have a contract. If you want to do, do it right now. now.
yeah, I'm afraid if she doesn't or, or she gets lost, she's been in so much suffering, it seems. Whatever we can do now okay. would be a big gift to her. And then she can let us know if she's listening in what she's feeling, and well, we want to hear what happens. It's going to be good, I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, no problem. Oh, thank so you. So I'm going to fill her with positive energy, raise her vibration, and I can feel the entities all over her. So I'm going to just give her the super fast uh, technique to clean her out. So first I'm getting rid of all the entities on her. They're putting up a fight. But that's the end of them. Now let's go to her higher self. And this is what I mean by a contract. I'm just going to state that any contracts Donna has with any non-physical entities are hereby null and void. She's a free sovereign being with no responsibilities under any spiritual agreement through all time, space, and dimension. Any obligations under any agreement are terminated immediately forever. Okay, and I can feel the, she had the contract there. The entities are upset because they can't come in freely anymore. So I got rid of the contract, the energy associated with it. There may be a few extra entities that tried to sneak in under the deadline and what, as we were canceling it. So let me just get rid of those. Okay, there were some hidden entities. And then there's some other ones that were gathered trying to block her from accessing her higher self. Okay, so those are gone. I'll just check one other place where they typically gravitate, see if there's anything. We, we haven't gotten rid of any sadness, frustration, or karma with her because mm -hmm. it's not a full-blown session. But if there was, let's get rid of anything, any other energy connected with that. Okay, that's gone. But I, there might be something else here. Let me just look. She may have a curse on her. So let me ask any curses. And she has a curse too. So any curses, hexes, or spells. So I'm taking away that curse too. And the, the curses, they're imposed by these black magicians. That is those evil sorcerers that are practicing black magic, which again is magic at the expense of others in service to your own self or at the expense of others. Hmm. So I got rid of the curse, but now we have to get rid of those black magicians so they don't try to invoke a new curse. So I'm going to grab the first one. Okay, and I got him. <clears throat> now I can't tell if it's a him or a her. But I'm tying him up so he can't do anything to Donna anymore or to anyone else. Now I'm going to take away his power. He has a bunch of jinn. Jinn are like the genies of Aladdin's lamp. These are high-level entities that are worse than the ones that we got rid of for Donna already. So I'm taking away his power which basically means stripping him of all his gin. Okay, so that's gone. So this guy has no power anymore, and he's tied up, so he won't be able to do anything. So now I'm going to open up a portal and tell the rest of the gin, who are the ones doing all the dirty work, that these evil black magicians will soon be tied up, so you have no more obligation to work for them. You're all free to go. Hmm. So they're, they're happy and they're free, but there's a few more of the black magicians that are not. So there's two more I need to pick up. Here's the second one. Now I'm tying him up. And taking away his power. Okay, he put up a fight for a little while and then all the djinn abandoned him. So he has no power anymore either. Now let's get the third one. Okay, I'm tying him up, and I can already feel he has no power left because the jinn abandoned him. So let's so let's just check, confirm everything's gone from Donna. No more jinn, no more curse. So she should be yeah, hundred times better <clears throat> immediately. So, well, yeah, you can well, encourage her to call in or write in to find out how she's feeling now. Okay. Maybe Donna, right. Yeah. 
Yeah, right in, yeah. Donna. Uh, we would love to hear and, and get an update from you. Um, let's talk about a few things because you mentioned uh, curses and things called gins, G-I-Ns. What is the right. difference and, you know, how does this sort of work? How would we even get a curse? Is this something that somebody might just like hurl at us when we're at the shopping center, you know, getting coffee and we maybe cut them off? Or is it something that goes way back, you know, many uh, hundreds of years or thousands of years to something much deeper or a different role that we had? Or could it be both? Right. It could be both. Just someone invoking, you know, cursing you out just like a curse. That's what it is. Mm. You know, F you, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're in, in some ways, they're invoking a curse on you. But the, the ones that are, and they, they can be annoying, but the ones that are really uh, troublesome are the ones that usually originate in past lives. Okay. And then someone, for whatever reason, they curse them. And to do a, a, a really thorough job in their evil way, they'll get three of them together to invoke that curse, you know, using their evil rituals. And then they'll put it on the person. It can travel with them for lifetimes or it can travel uh, ancestrally and the person feels it. Now, so when I get rid of it, like I don't know who the people were in Donna's life who may have invoked it in this lifetime or t- typically okay. whoever invoked it was a past life. But then they'll show up in this lifetime and I'll tell people and we can, we can even tell Donna. Usually it's someone that just seems to hate you for no reason. Mm. or someone who's extremely envious of you. And you know, usually when I say that, the person that is the, the was bearing the brunt of that curse, they'll say, oh, yeah, it's, I know who exactly who it was, or it's this, or sometimes they may not be able to remember who might have done it. But usually by the end of the session, they figure it out, and then I'll kind of confirm it. And I say, oh, you don't have to even tell them that you had this curse removed or anything, they may figure it out because they see that you're happy and things are going well and that they are tied up and they don't have the same power they used to have, but you just don't acknowledge it. You know, don't draw attention to yourself. Just know that you, well, you probably already know you can't trust that person. That's the reason you figured out they were responsible for your curse. But anyway, so that's how I advise them to handle it. Hello and welcome, this is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution, and if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.